Hello again! Ready for day two of the 10 day accessibility challenge? Today, we're going to learn about heading structure. In our last video, we learned that headings provide structure to our pages, which helps our students scan the content and develop schema that will help them learn new concepts. Headings are, essentially, a visual outline of our content that helps us group ideas into topics and subtopics. I promise, dragging in the props for these videos phew, is the hardest part about accessibility. Here is the new accessibility rule we're adding to our skill set today. Never skip heading levels. In our day one video, we learned that the title of Canvas items is always heading level one. From there, all heading levels should be in order. So that structure looks something like this. The title is heading level one. A main topic is heading level two. A subtopic, heading level three and a sub-subtopic is heading level four. Essentially, your heading structure is just like an outline, right? So what is it that you need to avoid? Don't start your page with heading level three or heading level four either. And don't skip heading levels. No moving from heading level two to heading level four, even if you think the subtopic is not that important. And last but not least, we have a quick warning about the Canvas Accessibility Checker. Here's a great thing about the Accessibility Checker. If you start with Heading Level 2, but then skip to Heading Level 4, and then use the Accessibility Checker, it finds the error for you and will even fix it. See how it's changed to Heading Level 3? But watch out. If you start the page on the wrong heading level and then continue, the accessibility checker misses the error. Oh no! You'll get a message saying your page is perfect, but it's not. Okay, how are you doing with the challenge? You have so much to gain and nothing to lose from using headings wisely, and we are right here cheering you on. As always, the key to our success is learning together. Thanks for taking part in the 10-day accessibility challenge. See you tomorrow.